Hey everybody, Brandon Villarolo here for Tech Republic, and today I want to talk about deleting messages and chat histories uh, in Microsoft Teams. Uh, unfortunately, this isn't something that you really have a lot of control over. There are ways to do it, and there's also ways to hide things from view so that you don't have to see them cluttering up your screen. But deletion is another thing altogether, uh, and that's by design in, in Teams. Microsoft built Teams so that it's kind of a, a permanent record. Uh, of collaboration in a company. So whenever you make a post in a Teams channel or have a private chat, that information gets backed up to Outlook Online. And it's stored there sort of as a, a, a business con continuity record um, and it's also for compliance. You know, someone can't go in there and delete messages that are unfavorable or delete things that might have been against policy. All that information is stored and saved outside of the individual user. So really you don't have the option to like delete the entire chat history of a channel. Um, you can d delete certain channels uh, and, and delete messages that you post, but really that's about it. So as a starting example, I'm going to show you this in this test channel that I've created. I've got this post here that I made and a response by my other dummy account uh, for testing. And if I mouse over this one here, that is the one that I posted with this account, and I click on these three dots, I can see the delete option. If I click on that, it'll show up like this now. And anyone else uh, in this channel will see the same thing. They'll see that a message has been deleted, and that's basically it. They'll have no context as to what it was, but anything underneath it, response-wise, that's going to stay. You can't delete that if it wasn't you that posted it. If I responded to this comment myself again, then I could delete that message as well. Uh, but because I didn't create this particular response, you'll see if you expand this here, you won't have the option to delete it. That's only available to the messages poster. That is unless you are a Microsoft 365 admin on an enterprise level Teams account. Uh, you can delete the posts from other users, um, but that's something you know, you're going to have to really weigh whether or not you want to be able to do or whether you want to do. It's best used in situations where someone's breaking posting rules or being inflammatory. Um, otherwise, this is designed to kind of be a record. Um, if you're the owner of a channel, so say this test channel, for example, you can delete that as well. If you mouse over, click these three dots, you'll see delete this channel down at the bottom. And that'll just wipe the channel out uh, from, from this particular team's uh, company. You cannot delete the general channel. That's permanent. And with good reason, that's supposed to be this sort of company-wide general place for people to chat. Um, another alternative, if you are worried about stuff cluttering up your view, is you can hide them. You can go in there and click hide, and it'll it'll knock that off your screen until you actually go to filter or add add it or try to resubscribe to it again. I'll show you that in a chat that makes it a little easier to see here. So you see here, this is my chat with me again, uh, and this is a private one-to-one -one chat, not a channel. This is just a, a, a direct discussion between two people. Again, you can go in here and delete your own messages from that private chat, but you cannot delete those from another user. You can't delete the whole chat either. So this is probably where people might get concerned about a real buildup of, of clutter here. If you're chatting with some of the app bots that you've added to Teams, or you've got a whole bunch of messages from other users, you know, maybe someone's left the company or someone that you don't chat with very often or you haven't had to chat with for a while and it's just taken up space. You can hide those conversations. You cannot delete them. So mouse over them like this, click there, and then you'll see hide. In this case, this one was hidden by me before, so I'm going to unhide it and then rehide it again so you can see what that looks like. So I click hide and that'll disappear. It still exists, it's just not on that board. If you want to get something back on your screen, you click chat, new chat, and then enter the name of the person you were previously chatting with, and it'll bring it back up. And after a few seconds, it'll it'll kind of sync here, and you'll see it um, as being a recent chat there. And if you want it to not go away after a while, you're going to want to go back in and unhide it. Beyond that, there's really not a lot you can do to control uh, the deletion of chat. Uh, it's pretty restricted, pretty locked down as to what individuals can do. And like I said, that's kind of by design. Um, you can delete individual messages that you've posted. You can delete channels that you own. And you can hide things that you don't want to see, that you don't want cluttering up your view. 
Beyond that, unfortunately, Teams is designed to be a living record that uh, doesn't get replaced or deleted. It sticks around for the life of the company. For Tech Republic, I'm Brandon Villarolo. Be sure to stay tuned to techrepublic.com for more tips and tricks just like this one. <laughs>